Welcome back, guys. Um, I was asked about uh, Battle.net running in Ubuntu and Debian. Now, I had done a video not too long ago uh, outlining a procedure that worked at that time in Arch, Debian, and Ubuntu. Uh, unfortunately, it appears Blizzard made some changes. That procedure still works 100% in any Arch-based distribution but I have had to modify that procedure in order to get it to work in Debian and Ubuntu currently. So this is uh, Debian MX15. You can see I have it uh, installed and the desktop icon and I will launch it so you can see that it's working fine. <laughs> Find a seat if you can! And I'm going to go ahead and show you that procedure. Now this will apply to obviously any of the Battle.net games. Just click on it. I've only installed Hearthstone, but you can install any one of these using this procedure. So I'll be right back. This is uh, showing how it works in Debian. The procedure is exactly the same. I'm going to uh, fire up Ubuntu and I'll be right back to show you the procedure step by step. Be right back. Okay guys, <clears throat> now I'm back in a uh, fresh install of Ubuntu 16.04. This is plain old Ubuntu. Nothing special. Uh, I've only installed a few things. But uh, a few of the things that you need to do, you need to, if you're going to use compositing, <coughs> um, go ahead and install Compton or whatever else you are using. I'm using Compton, um, and I've got a configuration file in the uh, config folder. Uh, but you, you don't really have to use that. Uh, you want to en enable 32-bit architecture. Now in Ubuntu, this is the command you'll use sudo apt-get install libc6-i386. In Debian, <clears throat> you're going to use this command here. And I'll put these notes into the um, video itself in the show notes, so you'll be able to copy this and, and uh, work along with it. <clears throat> now, once you enable 32-bit architecture, get your compositing installed, you're going to run apt-get update app get upgrade you want to upgrade your system to the to the latest uh, get all your up, updates done then you're going to make sure that if you have a proprietary a graphics card um, that you install the, the appropriate drivers so you'll you in Ubuntu you'll use additional drivers Debian you'll you, some of the some of the Debian distributions have a driver mechanism you may have to do it manually but you want to get your uh, drivers installed right up front. <clears throat> Once you get that done, you're going to run sudo apt-get install ttf-mscorefonts-installer. Get that installed. Once that's done, you're going to install Wine, Wine Tricks, and Play on Linux. Okay, now for Ubuntu-based distros, it's a good idea to install Ubuntu Restricted Extras. And then you're going to open up play on Linux so let's do that right now um, we're gonna open up play on Linux and, and get the ball rolling and then we'll take the rest of the steps so play on Linux is going to update <clears throat> the database it's gonna take a minute to do that I'm gonna pause the video and I will be right back with you Okay, so once Play on Linux has updated its database, you're going to click on Install. In the box, you're going to type Battle.net. It'll come up at the top of the list. Just highlight it and click Install. It's going to tell you it's in testing. That's fine. And just click Next and Next. And then it's going to go through some more uh, install uh, options. This is your language. I'm going to select English US. <clears throat> and 
and now it's going to go and pull in some information. Now it's downloading one point wine one point nine point one five. Uh, you have the option when you're finishing the install to use the wine that's installed in your system or the wine that was installed directly in Play on Linux. But we're actually going to change that uh, once we get to that point. So now it's going to go through and it's going to install a few different packages that are required in order for Battle.net to function and this normally doesn't take too long <clears throat> so now it's creating a virtual drive and then we're going to make some modifications to that virtual drive we're going to wait until it, it is finished <clears throat> and so I'm going to uh, just let it finish on its own. It's going to install some wine components. Just click on install and let it go through its uh, its installation. One more, the gecko installer. <clears throat> and it's going to ask you to install Microsoft Fonts. So you're going to do that. Click Next. Select I agree and Next again. Now this is going to take a minute. I'm going to pause the video. I'll be right back as soon as the fonts are installed. Okay so now the fonts have finished installing and it comes back with a message that says do not close Battle.net until installation completes and you're at the Battle.net login window. So let's just click next and it's going to go through <coughs> uh, the install procedure. So we're going to let that finish and we'll see um, whether or not we are successful and normally this it, this first leg <clears throat> is not successful but let's try to get this working so now you're gonna click install let it go through the process and this should only take a couple minutes once this is done <clears throat> this may fail more than likely will fail and then I'll go ahead and show you the modifications that we have to make in order to make this work <clears throat> okay so you can see that it says the program battle net has encountered a serious problem and needs to close we're sorry for the inconvenience Okay, so I'm going to close that out and I am going to show you what the fix is. What I'd like you to do is click on configure. It's going to open up this configuration window. You're going to click on Battle.net and when this window asks you how much memory you have in your graphics board, just you can just answer it. Whatever you have, I have two gigs so I'm gonna click that but it doesn't make any difference because um, this is not if I click if I click on run <clears throat> nothing's going to happen it, it's not you can see it, uh, again it's a program error so we're gonna close that out and again we're gonna click on battle net and we're gonna click on uh, wine now we're going to click on configure wine and this is the important part this is the the fix that you'll have to implement okay so in the wine configuration you'll need to go to libraries first of all change this windows 7 to windows xp you want to change that okay then you're going to click on libraries. Now you're going to see that it has a few here that are already 
uh, installed that were already installed during the installation procedure but some of them are missing so we're gonna refer to my notes here okay the first thing you see where it says add to wine config uh, the first thing and I missed one step very important we're going to use wine staging 1.9.13 so if we go to ge the general tab you see how it says 1.9.15 that's not that's no good so the first thing you need to do is hit the general tab go to 1.9.15 click on the little plus sign it's going to bring up a, a, a available wine versions you want to click on 1.9.13 staging that's the one you want once you highlight that click on the, the right arrow <clears throat> and it's going to go ahead and install it so just click on next it's going to download 1.9.13 staging now wine staging is configured with a, a variety of patches already included for some of the games and so that's why you need that patched installation 1.9.13 so it's extracting wine it's gonna make it available right here for you so now you're going to close out this window because you're gonna be using now you're going to go back to this window, hit the arrow, and click 1.9.13 staging. Okay. Now it's going to say any program still running will be terminated before the wine version is changed. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. So everything is going to reset. So now you're running 1.9.13 staging and now you're gonna click on wine configure wine now once the wine configuration window opens you're gonna change that to Windows XP you're gonna click on libraries and you're gonna use my notes to add to the white to the libraries so first one you're gonna add is this API just copy and paste paste it into the box click add the next one copy paste it into the box click add the next DLL file copy and paste don't forget to click add on each one VC runtime paste add now dbg help as you can see is already installed so we're going to install msvcp 140 we're going to copy that in add it and now we're going to click apply and now we're going to click ok now we should have everything that we need in order to make this run so now we're going to close out this window and we're gonna click run and now as you can see it works and we will fire it up just to make sure so you're gonna put in your username or your email and your password you're gonna click keep me logged in and log into BattleNet <clears throat> now that will bring up the BattleNet window you can install as I said any of these games I'm gonna go ahead and install Hearthstone I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be right back with you as soon as this is installed start install and it's gonna go through the 
uh, downloading and installation. I'm going to pause the video. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so that finished downloading, and now I'm going to click play and give it a test. Oh, it's dark out there. Come in where it's bright. Okay, so there you go. It's working. And, uh... See, the, the most important thing, I'm going to close this out. The most important thing is when you get your configuration done, make sure that when you click on configure that it shows 1.9.13 staging. That's extremely important. And then, as I said, when you go into your wind configuration, you want to make sure that you add all of the f libraries that I added in. And as long as you do that, you should be fine. So guys, that is it. If you have any questions, just post, post them into the comments. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you soon. Take care.